Shape language simplifies the subject, helps communicate its meaning, its emotion, and its very nature. That was pretty deep, right? Yeah, I got it from Bing. What? I've been studying digital art for about like six months now, and I never really understood what the heck shape language was, nor its importance. However, all of that changes today because I'm going to be studying the shapes used in the greatest Disney movie of all time, Treasure Planet. And no, I did not stutter. It's the best Disney movie of all time. All right, let's go. There are nights when the winds of the Ethereum, so inviting in their promise of flight and freedom, made one's spirit soar. That was probably one of the cleanest transitions I've ever seen in my life. Anyways, I got a video of uh, me drawing this stuff out, like different scenes from the movie. Got my past self down huh. there, in the bottom, bottom right. Hey, how's it going? He's just shy. I was gonna play this bad boy. So what I'm doing right here is I'm establishing like the the big shape, you know, like the the huge box that's gonna you know contain Jimbo. All right. So I'm starting off like in this area right here, just drawing a line. Then I'm drawing another line right here. Then I just move on and I complete this shape right here. Next, I start defining like um, other shapes, like uh, the shape of his head. So his head is like some kind of like quad kind of shape, like almost like a triangle. I'm just drawing a, a line for his hairline, line for his chin, things like that. And once I have that in, I'm just moving on to adding a shape for his hair, which is also just like a simple shape, you know, just like this. All right. Next, I'm moving Moving on to his collar here. His collar is like almost this like trapezoid kind of shape. So I'm like drawing it right here, here, and here. And finally down here. Rotating the canvas a lot, damn. I'm like about to get dizzy, man. All right, now I'm just drawing a shape for his jacket. You now identifying that negative space, you know, the, the area that isn't part of the gym, which is just like the air. Now I'm drawing in a shape for his ear. So sort of like this diamond kind of shape. Pretty simple stuff. Drawing in a triangular shape for his eyes right here. And another the triangle for his mouth and these sort of trapezoid shapes or i don't know what you call them i i forget i i'm not good at geometry these little shapes for um these little shapes for his eyebrows right here i think that's like some sort of rhombus or something right i, I don't know you guys will probably flame me about it in the comment section all right now i'm just gonna make a diamond shape for this uh this little ponytail he's got here all right, i think i'm just about to wrap this thing up i'm just zooming out here and i drew this on separate later just gonna drag it out and boom so they just based off of these simple shapes here you can already tell like this is like this is a human this is like i can see it i can see the ear the eyebrows the eyes the mouth the head and he's like wearing some kind of some kind of jacket like he's big shack or something what you did that? So I just drew in the nose here. Just a small little detail. Just wanted to, you know, add that little cherry on the top. But just like doing this kind of study helped me to understand like the importance of using these simple shapes in order to communicate things like what something is, like its expression. You don't need all this complicated stuff. You just need to break something down into shapes and you're able to immediately communicate like what it is to the viewer. Oh, that's that's what I got out of it anyways. I don't, I don't know. Am I, am I making sense? Oh, that was the first study, and I think we're done with this one. Next clip. Here. Hmm. Captain Maelia is probably one of my favorite characters um, in the movie, even though she may be like a, some kind of cat's furry thing. Besides that, pretty good character. All right, so once again, what I'm doing here is I'm just defining that huge box shape or that huge container for Anelia here drawing that first line that second line now moving on to the third line now i have the huge overarching container done now i'm just moving on to the more um important shapes that ones that define like the way she looks so what i'm doing right now is i'm just blocking in her hair and it's sort of like this um if you ever had one of those like reese's cups those like smaller ones it's like one of those like upside down or like just like a reese's cup upside down but you get the idea once i have that blocked in i'm just starting to block in her face now it's sort of like this heart kind of shape right it's like this heart with straight lines once i have that blocked in i'm just gonna move on to her ears i got her face and like 
her ear blocked in and i'm just gonna block in the other ear right here so now down here i'm just moving on to her clothes and like the rest of her body then i'm also like blocking in her little shoulder pad kind of things on her uniform here next i'm drawing in um a shape for her hands all right um like looking back at this i probably could have just like broken all of these down into like simpler shapes rather than drawing like a silhouette kind of thing but it is what it is it is what it is just like wrapping it up here i'm gonna zoom out and i'm gonna drag this over so with these shapes and I, I know this was kind of like a silhouette down here but with like these shapes if you just pay attention to her head here you can kind of tell like this is a cat this is a mutated human alien cat a cat that's holding uh some kind of ball right it's just another example of how breaking down these characters and the shapes really tells you how good this silhouette is because like with just these you're able to know like who this character is anyways i drag the um the drawing back on top of um, the frame here and i'm just continuing to add more shapes here in order to add more details to her for her eyes and drawing little diamonds for her mouth i drew that kind of shape whatever whatever the heck that is and i'm drawing like a little rectangular quad kind of thing shape for her nose here and as you can tell i already drew in a simple shape for her uh, her collar it's a huge collar by the way okay so this is a second pass it's just adding more details you know and just from this you're able to understand and know like what kind of emotion is being uh, presented here from amelia it's like an emotion of excitement like she's ecstatic like a cat that wants to play with a ball of yarn so just a recap for this study uh great silhouette great shapes and you know without all the details just adding these simple shapes you're still able to communicate a message and i'm pretty sure just like breaking this character down to like something simple like this was uh what the animators intended when they were creating this movie i think we're done with this analysis so next clip I just noticed something like look at my face down there what kind of face is that what, uh, what's wrong with that guy for this final shape study i got a shot from uh the climactic scene in the movie the very very great action scene so let's go ahead and break this thing down shall we once again we're starting off with just defining that container that uh surrounds um our boy jim so i think we just established that it's pretty clear now i'm just moving on to simplifying uh the rest of his body into shapes it's like in the last two studies hope you're paying attention so jim Jim's face is sort of like, uh, looks like the shape that I'm drawing right now. And I'm just, uh, drawing in his hairline here. And I'm drawing in, uh, his hair. Just sort of like this, this, like, swoop kind of hair. I don't know what a swoop is, but that kind of, like, defines what that is, like a swoop. Drawing in that, uh, simple shape for his ear and his, uh, lion's tail. Which is, again, just like this little diamond shape I'm drawing right here. Now I'm drawing the shapes for his, um his arms like the rest of his body now just enclosing that shape right there and there's doing the same thing for his left arm over here then i'm just adding like a few details here and there breaking down his facial features into these simple shapes once again drawing in a shape for the hand that's on the board here and i also define the shape for um the board as well okay so i think i'm done here now i'm just gonna take a look at it and there we go you can tell that there's a lot of energy in um this um this shape block out if you will I don't know how else to describe it. You can see the energy, you can see the expression, these uh, shapes that represent his eyebrows here. And you can also tell that he's like sort of holding on to something with his, uh, his hand over here and his arm like placed in this position. And yeah, I think that's that's the gist of it. That is that is the analysis. So we have all three of um, the studies here. And once again, doing this helped me understand how important shape language is. And something I'm trying to incorporate in my drawings as well. And like the rest of my studies. So I can create some of my own characters someday. So it was pretty cool doing an art study of my favorite animated movie of all time. Brought back a lot of childhood memories. You know, watching this movie on my VCR. You know, back in the day. Like way, way back in the day. Did you have a VCR? Like, do like kids nowadays even know about VCRs? Hmm, I don't know. All right, I think that's enough shapes for today. I'm all bent out of shape. <laughs> 
Hey, if you enjoyed today's video, if you learned something, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss a single Interman Classic. Check out the description for a bunch of cool links, like to the Discord server and um, you know other social media platforms. And uh, make sure to leave a comment about Treasure Planet. Did you watch it growing up? Did you, you know? Did you watch it on your VCR? That being said, till next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Enderman from Enderman Arts signing off.